I really like the Meepo pick. I think that it counters most, if not all, of the lineup. The Bane doesn't do anything. The Storm to come down here. Ace. The sick timing would be is if Ace avoids this by reading because oh, instead he's gonna, gonna go. go to the pick off onto Sox instead of the Meepo here. They will be able to get that kill pretty easily. That's gonna be your first blood. Especially with all the pressure that is coming out from LGD. As you can see, three heroes are bottom right now, smoked up. They are going to be able to find an initiation onto the Spirit Breaker. They need to be able to burst him down, not let him get the charge away, and that's where the Wrath of, wrath of Nature comes in. It feels as though, maybe, I mean, maybe this is just how Meepo games go, right? It's hard to judge his relative strength as they're going to make the move onto Fada. Teleports are going to be coming in. Fada is able to dodge a lot of damage with a slight of fist as well as the flame guard that's now worn out. The remnant. Oh, he actually back comes back into it. Gone into mid, but he's going to stick around here at bottom lane. The storm here will be able to get that kill, but Storm has heavily committed for this one, and Ace is going to be able to take advantage of that one, keeping him netted down. It's disruptors and banes where he's positioning himself always. Hiding in the trees to be able to get behind people and be able to set up for a kill like this. Managed to get a nightmare onto the Rubik and helping to be able to kill this Ember Spear who's still locked inside that the Ghost e Blade. The Ghost Scepter is going to be able to help the E Blade out from Ace, is able to save Fauna's life for the time being. And Ame oh, can't quite catch him. They are going to leave the Bane behind. Storm Tier really wants this kill though. Fauna just can't get anywhere as the Remnant is still down. And now the Void has been caught though. Ace is able to make sure that he's locked down long enough to be able to get that one kill now. Chalice and the Storm Spirit may need to get out of here. Storm sticking around long enough. He's out of mana. Look at that charge. Woo! Peter Pan Dam nails him. We're willing to play so fast paced. And this is most likely going to be Chalice's head as... They're uh, just going to get picked yeah. apart here so many times. It's going to pop the pipe, but this he, is in, he is charged. Just kind of a sacrifice that has to be made. He's pretty tanky. He's seen plenty of these early. This is going fast. They need to come back. Go terribly wrong. And a few of them go quite right. And it looks like Nip are going to show some discipline here to be able to back out, not finishing up that tier three, instead going for the kill on FY. Now, FY not having a bro strike up. One more second, but it's a second too late. Haste. Trying to get any sources of damage done. Chalice. Always being able to push in that bottom lane. The Orchid reveal here from maybe in a really big pick off on Fada. There's going to be Peter here. Thanks to the surge, the charge happens pretty quickly here. He's going to blow his ultimate, just trying to control up maybe, but he does die. Like of the team, they just can't do anything without him. They don't feel comfortable taking a four on four. As well, the E-Blade actually temporarily helps out the Nature's Prophet. At least they're going to catch him eventually here. So that trade off. Oh, they're going to go for the Chronosphere here. Boy, what a great Sprout is actually going to be able to protect in the Epicenter to follow this one up. They're going to be able to blink in. Bro Strike. The Meepo is still plenty tanky, but they're trying to focus it down. Log jump in from maybe we'll be able to wipe him out. The Meepo gets popped just like that. And Nipper on full retreat. Whatever heroes can get out, trying to get away, but Rubik's already been caught. That's three, make it four. The Spirit Breaker gets nightmared up. Do they have a way to be able to stop him from charging? They just have the burst damage. That's all they need. Seems to have things in full control, but the Storm Spirit... He's teeping onto the shrine right now. All they need is the vision for the trains to give him some sense of timing. Ami's gonna come in. Now the jump in with the BKB. They're trying to activate with the pipe of the Crimson Garden. Forgot the Aegis. the Aegis. He gets in on the storm. Massive, but he does immediately fall. FY, he's gonna be surrounded as well. Can they manage to get Chalice on top of that? They are gonna be able to bash him with a vacuum follow up as well. Chalice goes for a second round of teleport, but there's gonna be the nets for the Meepo. The charge on through. Oh, actually popped over oh, the inside no. of the pit. They do manage to get the net again. Fortunately, they keep him controlled. So, yes, just some good ideas about Dota. Ame with his BKB is currently trying to take this tier one tower. They are going to be able to complete the charge and burst him down just like that. Telekinesis into the charge. What a combo from Nip. Bloodstone complete for the Storm Spirit. This is going to be a really big time. They're going to make the long jump in, be able to find PPT and Nip. Are they going to try and go into this? They do have the Chronosphere locking down only the Meepos here. 33 actually running into the Chronosphere as well. And the a stolen, stolen Chrono. Chrono. Soxa locks down the Storm Spirit. What a burrow strike. FY nails five different heroes and three different Meepos, but will be able to get the Storm Spirit down on his Aegis. They're trying to catch FY here. They don't want to let these constant burrow strikes disrupt them. One of the Meepos quite low though. Storm and Void focusing down will be able to kill, but Ame, he 
actually dies here. The Meepo's dead for two minutes. But the Storm's here with his BKB. Might just be able to finish up all these heroes. Soxa trying to get away. Has a Fiend's Grip, but won't be able to last long enough to be able to use it. And Nip are dead with three different heroes, none of which have buyback. And Storm's going to be able to find one more here. It's going to be the Spirit Breaker. Tries to go for the charge away, but can't get it in time. Meanwhile, Fada, there's going to be the jump forward. They do immediately find the Ember Spear and burst him down. The Ace is going to be able to follow that one up, though, and he's got Alme dead. He will be able to get the Storm Chair as well. Both of them just died, and there's no buyback of the Storm Chair. Chalice is dead as well. Fada, he's the lowest net worth core. I was just about to talk about him. Find more pickoffs if they can, because then they can go for Throne. They're just going for it. The Tier 3 tower, at least one of these is going to die. A Tier 4 tower. Yeah, the uh, Storm Spirit, though. Now the buyback comes in He's on the back Bane. up. He can jump in. The Bane's going to buy back. And are we going to have the catch? The Storm's here. It's going to be able to get on top of the Meepo, but immediately jumps away. Not able to slow anything down here, but maybe FY has found an opening here onto the Spirit Breaker. Pretty easy kill with the bashes coming out from Ame. They want to chase for now. More now. They've got the Iman numbers. Picking them apart. They're going to be able to get the Chronosphere now onto the Dark Seer, but this is where they turn potentially. BKB activated, trying to finish up this Dark Seer. Almost got him. Does manage to get off the cheese, though. So now they're turning around as the BKB is now gone. A heavy commitment from Vada as well as A to be able to finish off this void. And Stormtrooper is going to have to zip away, try and TP back. FY with a jump in. Yule Scepter on himself to buy himself a little bit of time. Chalice trying to battle. Ace is still Ace. alive. Ace is so low. Where's the Stormtrooper? He needs to be able to finish off this Meepo. Chalice will die inside of his own sprout. And now Ace starts working on that other tier four. 60 seconds for the Void as well as the Furion. Long jump into left hand side instead. Just killing some of these creeps, but not actually trying to stop Ace. Now the another Yule Scepter and Ace is just focusing on the throne. Storm's gonna come up with an answer. This and game's soon, done. There's gonna be a bro strike in, slowing down these heroes. Fiend's grip on the side as well. The BKB activated. There's a refresher shard coming out for 33, but they're just gonna take the throne. Ninjas in pajamas. They make the comeback off of one massive fight. We're kicking off game two of Ninjas in Pajamas versus LGD. Sit forward, Ax Nova trying to get the stun out is going to be able to help out, but Fada actually dealing so much damage here. Uh, he they went back in. Get the kill. They actually do. The Storm and Spirit ends up falling here. The Inkswell does manage to get the damage on a Chalice right now. Peter trying to get out, realizing that all these heroes are high enough HP. He can't actually kill any of them. And with that minus armor from the Wave of Terror. FY, so close to the Javelin here, but he doesn't have the Swashbuckle up and needs another three seconds time. Now he's completely out of mana. He's used the Shield Crash instead, but the Storm's here. It's going to be able to zip in and what? protect FY. His Nip are not going to be able to go for it. Instead, it's going to be Phantom Lancer taking a lot of damage. A Swashbuckle being used into that to be able to ensure the kill on the Phantom Lancer. And he's got enough mana to get out to. He's popping all of his bottle charges. Looks like he should be just fine. In fact, he goes back into Soxa Fada. Trying to pressure the stun right now, and Chalice is going to come in too, but maybe he's got to get out of here, getting way too low to take this engagement. Still, the save onto the Pango. I think he bottled him once. That's how he had mana, yeah, or he had enough uh, charges. Oh, really As nice. The Helmet Dominator Creep is going to be able to get the net onto this Furion, and Ace will find X Nova. Very well done. Well. Not going to go for it here. Do the Phantom onto X Nova. Still only Trying level five. Fada. Rolling Thunder is going to come out though. And oh no, this could be bad. As they are going to throw out the black hole to be able to stop that Rolling Thunder. That's going to be able to fight by Fada sometime. But the Storm Spirit zips in to be able to finish him off. Now in the back line, Soxa is also going to be dying and maybe still has so much mana to be able to work with. He's going to go for Ace here. He's being greedy. He wants to be able to kill the core and he might be rewarded for that greed. Ace goes down. That's exactly what they wanted out of that. Three dead on the side of Nip. And they use the black hole to be able to just stop that, but. Sprout, 33. Uh, Ame turns into the Sand King himself to be able to catch. But this time around, uh, NIP at least going to get the return, but they the do have to get the silence with that Burrow Strike out from the Sand King. Now the Soulbind as well, locking in the two of them. The Storm Spirit is going to be stuck. The silence managed to finish him off. 33 minutes. Juke at that Rolling Thunder. Can't dodge the, uh, oh, the roll in from FY, nailing two of them. When NIP had to play against the Sand King. Just immediately TPs and blinks. Goes for the strike onto Chalice with Inkswell. Maybe he can still run him down. Here's the silence. Gonna get an extra bit of burst of damage, but immediately going to the back line. Maybe wants to be able to deal with that silence of the Grim Stroke. And now they can go for the other one. That's gonna be 33. He's out of the equation. Trying to chase down Ace as well, but they don't want to overly dive here, especially into the hands of Vada. Meanwhile, top lane. 
They could just go back for Roshan too. Morphling does it very quickly. Whoa, look at that. They oh. actually got silenced here. He may not be able to take it out in time as the Rod Hayes host first strike. What happened? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. FY's gonna be rolling thundered in and rolling thunder out. When did team fight take that Roshan? But Zoxa. Currently does have a haste rune, so not really the best person to jump right now. Peter Pan Dam does manage to get his ink swell off, but it doesn't explode in time to slow down this damage from maybe. Now do you, Roche? Well, if the Furion's out of position, he TPs in very aggressively. He does have a pipe, though. Look at him, he's so tanky. They're gonna get the Rod of Atos, a little bit more follow up, but Fana needs to be able to Yule Scepter himself, so instead they're gonna go for Soxa here. The Rolling Thunder on in. Sox is very low, trying to finish him up. Maybe he is able to do so. Bouncing back and forth, FY is gonna help ensure that they get the uh, Sand King as well as that Leshrac. All those neutrals Look have to be fed into Ace. Uh, great positioning. They're still going to be able to get the Blink forward here. The swap back is going to be able to buy FY some time. Almost long enough to be able to get off the Rolling Thunder. Sox is already dead with the BKB activated. He's now going to go for the next skill. That's going to be the other support in Peter Pan Dam. Ace activating his BKB. He's going to try and chase down Chalice, but we talked about how tanky he is, and all he has to do is teleport away, so he's going to be fine. Mass buybacks coming out. It's now FY starts rolling through all these heroes of Nip as they try and retreat. Yeah, and this is without the Enigma. Jump over the side, BKB activated by Fada, but maybe we'll turn in time. He will be able to pop his BKB of his own, Rolling Thunder on through on that Phantom Lancer. He's going to be able to secure the lockdown long enough. It looks like Peter's going to struggle to get back to his base as well, so maybe just runs him over. That's going to be it here for game two. Nip, I mean, you could see the writing on the wall for like 20 straight minutes, What a 42,000 net worth lead is what we're gonna end this game on at 37 minutes. Yeah. Really excited to be here for this game three of NIP versus LGD. This hard camp stack. A lot of golden experience to be found here. Having used the swashbuckle, kind of an interesting choice by FY. And I say interesting, I mean a killer choice. He ends up dying, giving away first blood to Ace. We had yet to have a first blood because we'd only had these denies. They're going to be able to find him to teleport in. He thought he juke to the right-hand side, but they will be able to find him. Really good positioning. It's not quite enough with Swashbuckle, though. He will finally get the kill, but he's going to be run down by Soxa here, who's going to try and kill FY and may still be able to turn for Chalice as well. A little bit surprised Chalice wants to fight at all. And that's why he TPs away. So you have to play pretty perfectly. Yeah, I agree. I, I really agreed with Grant's assessment of this where he was like, if he dies multiple times and he has a hard lane. Oh, a Fiend's Grip, and that may be one of these deaths here is that long-term disabled, nice there's sprout. no Aphonic Shield just yet, but he is relatively tanky. The Fear comes out now. Next Nova, getting a position for another round of the Mist Coil, and Ami is going to be safe here, but next Nova himself may end up dying. Wrapping in from the right-hand side here. There's a lot of NIP members that think they can get a bolt here. The Razor, they're going to go on to him first. Fada is already at half HP. Well, 33 is already knocked down. The Queen of Pain, what a big kill. And Fada is so fast, he's been beginning to get away. But Ame is going to be able to chase him down with Remnants. Managed to get the chains and finishes off that big Razor kill. X Nova is low. He's underneath the fire. Tries to get the Miss Coil tonight. Successfully gets it, but the pullback onto Chalice will ensure that kill. FY, they can actually he's rolling it up. They don't have the metamorphosis, so it's not like Nip is that good at fighting right now, especially if they can get to the back line, and Peter Pan Dam is going to be the perfect target to be able to wipe out first. X Nova is forced to pop his borrowed time here, but the roll-in coming out from FY nails that TB at just the right time, but it is going to be the Aegis, 33, using his bear to go onto the Queen of Pain, Solar Crest is activated. The Rolling Thunder does manage to bounce back to the TB, trying to get a target here for the Sunder, can't quite get it off, finally Sunder's the last second to be able to keep himself alive off of Soxa, it seems, but FY Tries to swashbuckle and finish off the... Oh, we almost got it with the Shadow Strike. It looks like Soxa may end up dying here to the tick damage. It's not quite enough. And now he's getting bobbled up. But no, 33 says, come here, buddy. Let my bear give you a big old hug. Realistically, the same thing. Yeah. Like, literally no AoE stuns. They're on the end of the Metamorphosis timing here, but there's no borrow time for this abandon, so he is going to be brought to his doom, unless the Aphonic Shield can save him. He does actually get the deny. The Meanwhile, a beautiful Sonic Wave. That finishes up the Terror Blade as well as the Bane. 33 is going to use his bear, and they actually get the chance to stop his teleport. A massive fight for LGD as they're going to be able to bring down three, head for a tier two, and things just sped the hell up for LGD. Link Dagger for the Pango. Nip are gonna try and sneak in a Roshan here once again. They did it once. 
Thanks to the Solar Crest and this heavy amount of physical damage, they do manage to get a successful scan here. And it's going to be a close call because the Ember is going to be filing into this bit. This could be disaster for Nip as the Roshan's about to be falling here. The Rolling Thunder is going to come in. Blink Dagger, FY's just going to roll right on in, trying to get the good shield crash in. Bouncing around these heroes, but the BKB activated by Ace is just turning and trying to fight, laying out the damage on FY, but the shield crash is denying so much of that damage right now. Meanwhile, X Nova pops his borrowed time, managed to heal up back to full. The Roshan pit being controlled up by LGD, but they need to be able to win this fight. 33 is dropped so low. They're Hoppy sandwiched. Going into the back line with the Sonic Wave. Nailing all three of those cores. Needs to be able to get up the Sunder. He's silenced up right now, and now he's cut down. LGD, two fights in a row now, and this is a big one, being able to deny the Roshan away from Nip and grab the Aegis for themselves. Yeah, I'm not he's sure trying what to go he's for doing. a play right now. Blink in. No, he's going to be chained up instead. They're going to make sure to kill him before the Roshan dies, so there's no five. chance in hell that the Aegis and Cheese can be snatched away. I was on the side of LGD going, like, oh, they're going oh, for guys. both sides. Yeah, they're actually maybe going for straight up Megas. Nip, they've lost two fights in a row, a third one, and they are definitely out of this game. They've only got 10 more seconds till the Terra Blades back up, but bottom lane of Brax, it's pretty much gone already. And top lane, let's check in on that one because that is going to be the last remaining one for Ninja's Pajamas. The tier three is already dead. 33 coming forward with Bada with a Plasma Field out. They have to commit. It's not ready to go. And then melee barracks is going to fall just like that. Now it's just a, a ranged barracks. The side being used, but there is going to be the nightmare on the right-hand side. The jump in from maybe go straight for the bat rider. Wants to be able to deny the big disable, but can't fully commit. Doesn't actually have the nukes available. Ami is going to drift in a little bit closer onto the bat rider with the rolling thunder going in, finishing off that bat. Now trying to get the initiation on Ace, who's about half HP. They're not focusing on him, though. They're trying to finish off this pango ball, but they just bide their time. Now the thunder goes down onto Ame, but the terror blade is dropping low. Side device controlled up. He may be going into the back line trying to deal with the Bane. He does manage to get him, but now he's locked down. Sonic Wave being prepped pops the cheese. It's going to be roared up, but X Nova is being able to keep everybody so healthy. Now the Sonic Wave comes in, finishing up Fada. Nip, they are hemmed in inside of their fountain. They're going to be losing up against Megas now as PSG LGD will finish it off, try and get the roar. They will manage to get it on to Ame, stopping his teleport away, but they can't actually win a fight. As you can see, that maybe just jumps in fiercely with the Shivas going down. Ace is dropping low. They're trying to get the last bit of nuke damage before he can get to the fountain, and he's dead. He gets denied by Fada. Fada saying this game is over, killing his own allies as LGD march to victory here in game three. Very well done by them.